What is going on, my bearded brothers? Dan C. Bearded here. Today, guys, we're going to talk about biotin. What is it? Does it work? Is there science behind it? Are there any studies to back it up? Don't worry. The trusted teacher has the research, has the experience, and I got your back. So if you want to learn more about this biotin craze, will it help your beard? I'm going to break it down for you guys in information that's easy to chew on and leave in that brain. So please, just stay tuned. Biotin. What is it? First off, I've been using biotin for a while now from many different places and companies to try and improve the health of my hair and my beard. Uh, the second most recent one I was picked up was from CVS. The reason why? They had a buy one get one free special so I thought it was a great price. But I've recently made the switch to Beard Octane and I think that's going to be an important reason why and I'll explain that towards the end of the video but I will say proven with science it is important where you are getting this biotin because not all biotin is created equally, specifically when it's uh, targeting your beard. So what is it? Biotin is a B vitamin, also known as B7. Now this is something that is going to help your body break down amino acids, fat, and carbs. So something that is really important and you can achieve this through your diet and food. You want to look for foods that are rich in biotin if you're trying to help uh, the health of your beard. Things that would include number one, the most potent biotin food in the world is beef liver. Ounce for ounce, beef liver has more biotin or B7 naturally occurring than anything else. Mm, that may not be your thing for all of you. Number two, luckily, is something that a lot of you consume on a regular basis and that is eggs. Eggs have a lot of B7 in them. After that, you go down the list, you have things like nuts, you have things like bananas. There's a really good amount of food that you can eat to really bring the best biotin to your body possible. We know that supplements and vitamins are amazing to take and help your immune system and your overall health, but as always, the best way to get the benefits from something is to ingest it through your diet. So check out some foods like beef liver, like nuts, like eggs, like bananas, that are gonna give you that biotin naturally and then we can use a little boost with these vitamins. So that is what biotin is. How? How do we need this? Do we even need biotin? Is this something that is just pushed by beard companies? Yes. Medical signs of biotin deficiency include brittle nails and hair loss. If you are talking about maintaining a healthy beard, hair loss or weakened hair is not something you want. And we know for a scientific fact that people that have low amounts of biotin have hair loss and brittle nails. So do you need it? If you want to keep your beard, yes. Work. The most important question, will biotin work to help your beard? To sum it up, yes. Through my experiences, through my research and my conversation with other bearded brothers, it will 100% help you grow your beard. Biotin is going to increase and strengthen the keratin in your system. Now, what is keratin? Keratin is the protein foundation of your nails and your hair. All nails and all hair need keratin, and it is proven that biotin will increase that keratin. So in result, you're going to have improved hair. Now keratin is found all throughout nature. There's a lot of animals that actually have scales and horns that are made out of keratin. It's the same with humans. The thing that makes up your nails and your hair, they're the same exact thing. Now, biotin is not going to target your beard specifically. It is going to make all of your hair and your nails grow. So what that means is be prepared for your toenails to grow long, be prepared if you have back hair for your back hair to grow, your hair will grow and you will notice that difference. Now to be clear, biotin is not going to create new growth. If you have patches, there are not gonna be new little hairs that are gonna be budding out, but maybe your hair is going to grow longer and cover up those patches. It does two things. It is going to strengthen the existing hairs, give them better holds so there's less breakage and damage, and it's going to help the rate of growth for your hair. That's the number one thing that I have noticed when I started taking quality biotin, even when I was taking the lesser biotin at first, I noticed an increase in my monthly grow rate. Most people grow hair at about a half an inch a month. I bumped up to about three fourths an inch a month. Now that I'm on quality biotin, I am literally growing an inch a month. 
I trim it off and stay at about this length to keep it clean, but maybe I'll start going past then, but I am growing one inch a beard a month. And I really think a lot of that is due to my healthy habits, of course, and my focus and my health of my beard, but biotin is like a super booster for that rate of growth and the healthier beard. So does it work? Yes, 100%. The only exceptions would be with people that already have super high levels of biotin in their system. Adding more biotin isn't gonna help you, but most people have some kind of biotin deficiency where they can get more, right? It's like drinking water. Most people are not drinking enough water, and the more you drink, it will help, but there are rare amounts of people that are drinking enough, and more is not really gonna help them. So will it work? Yes, for almost all of you. Science. So what is the science behind this idea of biotin helping your beard grow? Well, I've done tons and tons and tons of research on this, and there are actually very few studies and clinical cases that are studying the impacts of biotin on hair. There are a couple small ones that back up the idea that biotin is going to help your beard and your head hair grow and your nails to be stronger and healthier. However, it's a very small sample size at best, and I don't feel comfortable citing those small studies if we don't have a large sample size like we need. However, there are tons of studies on biotin and the effects on the body for other reasons. It is used for other great reasons like skin care, and there is almost zero risk in taking biotin. You cannot overdose on biotin. There's not a ton of drawbacks to it. Most of the time, if you take too much biotin, you're just gonna pee it out of your system and you'll be perfectly fine. So that is the good news. You're not gonna hurt anything by trying this. The last thing that I will say is, as cited by GQ and their very good study into the world of biotin, there are more supplements of biotin available on the market that are inferior than compared to the products that ones are superior. So when you're going and buying these, I'll see people post them for really cheap, and that's where I went and bought them at myself first, but they're actually not as good. There are really good quality biotin products out there, but you gotta do a little bit of research. For example, I bought the CVS Health ones because literally it was a buy one, get one free. And they stamped this all over here several times. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. The product is not intended to do anything that it says on here. That is powerful when they're saying, hey, no, we got no record of this. We just know that there's biotin in here. There are quality ones like this Beard Octane one, right? This is an amazing company that a lot of you know and love. And this is made in the United States in an FDA approved actual lab, and this is something that is very friendly to your body, to the system, and is going to have a really, really great delivery method of getting you that biotin. This is a pill here that's in a capsule that you can see that it's going to deliver into your system. The CVS pills are much like any of the other ones that are available at the stores, very small, very compact, and they're not gonna have the same delivery method. I really, really recommend you guys getting a quality biotin. I'm gonna put my sources down in the description there, but you can check out that GQ article and their studies on how there are lots and lots of garbage biotins out there that are not gonna do what you want. So if you're not seeing the results, maybe check where it's made, how it's made, and whom it's made by. I really recommend, guys, the Beard Octane one. This was developed with a beard company every step of the way with an FDA-approved lab. Um, this one is going to go for, I believe, $19.99 for a bottle of 60 capsules, which is one a day. That's two months. And you guys can use Dan C10 to save 10% and help you out there. But there are going to be other good options as well. Just do a little bit of research because where you get it from does matter. Conclusion and final thoughts. First off, I hope you guys appreciate the sources down in the description. I spent hours and hours and hours making sure I was backed up by research. I checked actual clinical studies. I checked peer-reviewed journals and published works of art about biotin. I wanted to know the actual science behind the side effects. I wanted to know the actual science of what makes biotin work. What is it naturally occurring? Everything possible that I could find out. I wanted to know that I had the real information when I delivered it to you guys, and I feel fully content with that, and I throw those sources in there. So to leave you with, does it work? What are my final thoughts? Yes, for me, I experienced stronger hair that was not breaking as much, and the number one most measurable difference was an increase in my beard growth rate. 
I really saw it when I switched to biotin, and then I saw it even more when I switched to a quality biotin. That quality matters. The only one that I've tried that I've considered quality is that Beard Octane bottle, but I know there's other ones out there. I know Detroit Grooming has a biotin bottle, and I know that they do it right. I've not tried that one yet, but I know all the standards that company has, and that one's gotta be amazing. If there are any other quality ones out there, let me know in the comments down below, and I would love to check those out, do some research on them, and give people other options. Options. But to leave you guys with a question, what are your experiences with biotin? Did it work? Did it not work? Is something scared, scaring you for this? Do you not want to use it for a specific reason? For me, if I miss a day, I feel like I'm cheating on my beard, that I did a disservice to my beard, almost as if I didn't drink my gallon of water that day. I love biotin. I love the strength it gives my beard, the growth rate, everything. And for me, when you put all these pieces together, if it walks like a duck, talks like a duck, probably got a duck there. So keep that in mind. So let me know what you guys think. If it didn't work, did you think it was because you bought the cheap inferior product that was made in China? Or is there maybe something else to it? Maybe you have a ton of biotin and just at breakfast you eat beef liver every morning. I don't know. Let me know, guys. I'm excited to hear your thoughts on this. Thank you. I hope you learned a little bit today and appreciate the studies that went into this. So really, I'm using that biotin to stay bearded and, of course, stay positive.